This workshop, put on by the Northwest Michigan Sustainable Business Forum, focused on demand-side energy management. That's something one of the workshop presenters, David Conkle, knows a lot about. He spent 20 years as the energy coordinator for the city of Ann Arbor, where he was responsible for managing the energy use of the municipal government. Demand side management means having electricity there when you demand it. And demand side management programs are trying to reduce what we call the peaks in demand. Those times when uh, the utility company is stressed. Their, all of their generation capacity is at highest and, and, and they have to now buy from outstate providers or do something very expensive energy to fill that last bit of peak. What they're trying to do with demand side management programs is to lower that peak and keep it in, in where they can easily provide for even the highest demand. So just trying to smooth out their electric load a little bit. Conkle is now the Energy Office Director for an organization called ICLE, Local Governments for Sustainability. He's working to help cities establish successful municipal energy offices. Part of that is showing that those offices can pay for themselves, that they can implement energy saving uh, measures and capture the savings or a portion, just a portion of the savings from those enough that they pay for their own position to finance that office that can continue to generate more energy savings and it becomes a self-sustaining office inside the community helping reach the goals of reducing your demand, uh, reducing your energy use, reducing your pollution, meeting your environmental goals. Conkle showed examples of energy saving measures implemented in Ann Arbor including LED street lights. He says demand side management doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. I tell people that you know you should be able to get a 10 percent reduction in your energy use with energy conservation programs easily and it's probably going to be more like 20 or 30 percent reduction in energy and then went through and showed some buildings in Ann Arbor that we'd done energy improvements to and achieved well beyond those goals. So there are many many things you can do. Lighting is the first and easy one. We call that kind of the cream skimming of things but uh, variable speed drives on motors and blowers and occupancy sensors, building management systems, all of these things can reduce your energy use. Conkle says an important part of demand side management is recognizing the role of the power company. Too many people look at the uh, utility company as the enemy and what they need to realize is that you need to have that business be a healthy business. You want the electricity to keep flowing in a reliable manner and if you're going to ask them to implement programs that are going to reduce their sales of electricity that they still have to be able to make enough money somehow to maintain those lines and, and maintain those generators and, and, and all that to stay healthy. So at the same time that you're saving money through energy conservation, they may have to raise their rates a little bit.